All right, this just into our newsroom. San Onofre units two and three may be retired. That is if government regulators do not approve the restart of the nuclear plant. That development coming straight from the CEO of Edison International, which is the parent company of Southern California Edison. Meanwhile, Team 10 has sources inside the plant, one who snapped a picture that's raising a lot of questions. It shows plastic bags, tape, and broomsticks used to fix a massive leaky pipe. Now, the source gave the picture only to Team 10 investigator Mitch Blocker. If a picture is worth a thousand words, this one may be worth as many questions. San Onofre's owners confirm this was taken in Unit 3, but did not say when. The source who provided it says it was taken last December. Unit 3 is the same unit that leaked radiation in January 2012. The plant has been shut down since. The picture shows plastic bags propped up by broomsticks supported by tape covering an industrial pipe. San Onofre said in a statement, staff identified a small leak in the water box and will perform maintenance per our scheduling process. In the meantime, plastic is in place to direct the water from the small leak to a drain. We sent this picture to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. They took a couple of days to analyze it and then said it is a saltwater leak and is not dangerous. They say staff at San Onofre will repair it when they have time. Team 10 sources question if this is the manner in which a nuclear power plant should be maintained. If that's nuclear technology at work and that's how we're going to control leaks, I think the public should know. Sources inside San Onofre want to remain anonymous. They came forward because they said the public has a right to know about the plant's condition, especially as the NRC decides whether the plant will be allowed to restart. Unit 2 is the generator under consideration for restart, not Unit 3 where the picture was taken. When the radiation leak was found in Unit 3, both generators were turned off as a precaution. So far, there are no plans to restart the generator where the picture was taken. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission is considering a request to restart Unit 2 in June. I was there the day it shut down. I wouldn't trust them to turn it back on. The source also points to what appears to be corrosion on the pipe as a sign of the power plant's age. The source said rust is rampant throughout the plant, including what the source calls a fire suppression pipe, which protects units two and three. There's a pipe that runs along the security fence from one side of the plant to the other side of the plant. It's totally blistered. Rusted. Rusted. Corrosion. San Onofre spokeswoman said to take an isolated picture and leap to some kind of conclusion about maintenance is a pretty big leap. Other sources inside San Onofre told Team 10 an unprecedented level of wear and degradation, which caused the plant's shutdown in the first place, makes starting San Onofre again risky. We are dealing with unknown territory here which has never been explored before. San Onofre disputes those claims and says the plant is safe to restart. Records obtained by Team 10 show San Onofre staff were concerned about hundreds of corrosion notifications and degraded equipment throughout the plant. Staff sent a letter to management saying San Onofre clearly has a serious corrosion problem in pipes throughout the plant. This is nuclear. This should be tip top. Everything in that plant should be tip top, not bottom of the barrel. Now again, San Onofre says the plant is safe to restart. The NRC is expected to announce its decision on restarting Unit 2 at 70% power in the coming weeks. With Team 10, I'm Investigator Mitch Blocker.